So that's an example of where it actually costs a lot less to be able to have that, that help desk and being billed in 15 minute increments, that's a huge relief. You know that you're not going to be billed for trip charges um, and, and uh, billed in you know, 15 minutes worth of, of information, now you build an hour. So this is all very good stuff. All right, keep going. Okay. And that, that is a good point because you know, I would tell you I don't know that there's a, any IT person that you're going to find out there that knows everything. Mm -hmm. But it's about being able to have access to the resources so that you can get those answers. And so you're right, the help desk becomes not only a place where the client can call, but where um, technical staff can call and, and utilize that resource as well. Okay. You know, the other thing I would tell you too that um, is available with those types of clients also, I think we've all had experiences where something isn't working right and my IT tells me it's the phone's issue and phone mm -hmm. says or data says the data provider says no that's your IT and then you become the middle person trying to sort out something that you just don't have any background or familiarity with and that's one area that we can help with as well um, if you call us and say hey I've got this issue we're gonna work with you and we're gonna work with your other providers of your technology to resolve and find out what the issue is and get it resolved the other thing I would tell you too that I think is important is when you're dealing with a company like ours, because we deal with so many different clients and we work with them not only on their technology but operationally, a lot of times we're very familiar with the software that you're running. And so you can call and say, hey, I'm trying to get my software to do this or that. And it may be something proprietary to your, to your, to your business. A lot of times we're going to be able to give you insights because we've worked with it and we understand it or we've got uh, relationships with the software vendor themselves and so we can help expedite getting it resolved and getting your questions answered. Absolutely. Um, the, uh, the, uh, in the second we're going to uh, be talking about and, and more, maybe we should kind of uh, set up on the side of, the, uh, of this segment, um, that what we're going to be discussing as far as risk management. Um, but tell us a, a little bit about risk management um, uh, services basic and then we're going to go into a little bit more detail later. Okay, you bet. Before I do that, I want to oh. cover just one other sure, service absolutely. that I think is key for individuals. We talk about clients who just need to call us from time to time. We also have a program out there for clients who know that they need some type of help on an ongoing basis. But have you ever felt like, gosh, you know, I'm paying for five hours a month, but I only use two or three typically and the rest of it I'm just throwing away? We have a program that we call it our IT savings account, which allows you to spend a certain amount each month, so it allows you to budget for it. But if you don't use that time, it rolls over into a savings account that you can then use on a month where maybe something big happens and requires more time, you've got it available to you. So that's another advantage to our system is that you can, again, you can purchase time and not lose it. So now, Absolutely a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> now, now let's talk about uh, risk management. Sure. Um, you know, I think what most of us will recognize the term um, identity theft. Mm -hmm. And there's lots of, of uh, advertising out there about you know, protecting our personal identity. You know, the reality is, is that in, um, in today's world, cyber criminals are know, know that they can come and attack businesses because there's a lot of financial data and personal data there that they can, um, that they can benefit from. And so maybe when we get on the other side of the break, we can talk about um, what businesses need to do to really protect themselves because um, not only do we have to worry about what that does to the business's image, but there are, there are federal and state regulations that uh, can put a business out of business if they don't uh, comply with what with those regulations. Absolutely. The, the mood and attitude in the last uh, four years of, of government has been to make businesses, there's two ways of saying it, one is to make businesses more responsible, um, the other uh, business owners feel like that means to make them pay. Uh, so our, whatever phrase you want to utilize on that, um, uh, is, it's very important to know that your feet will be held to the fire, uh, whichever side of that coin uh, you're, you're on. Um, uh, even if you weren't the perpetrator, you weren't selling information you shouldn't, uh, and you did uh, just about everything that you knew how, um, that, uh, but if you don't know all the ways that you re that are available, uh, then they're going to consider that negligence, and uh, you wouldn't become very responsible from a risk management perspective. You know that that is really true. Um, the state and federal governments know that it's nearly impossible to catch the cyber thieves because they're outside of the country, and so the next alternative that they have is to pass regulations that require businesses to meet certain standards, to protect that data because that's, 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 that's where they can stop it, and that's, that's the reason for the regulations. Whether we like it or not, that's, that's what a business has to deal with, 
and needs to be um, taken into consideration so that they can protect their business. Um, so now if, uh, if any of you are feeling uh, a little bit uncomfortable, this is probably a good time to call <laughs> Rusty. Uh, uh, what is the good number to get in touch with you? You bet. Um, it's uh, MMA Systems. We're, uh, our phone number is 480-779-4652. That's 480-779-4652. Uh, and uh, would love to hear from you if you'd like to talk about uh, how you can better manage your business from a technology standpoint. And the website again? The website is uh, mmasystems.net. And also, if you want to have a third party, uh, it will turn out to be an endorsement because we love these guys, but you're welcome to give me a call at 480-296-1776. And, uh, and you're welcome to uh, find out from me what some of the customers have said about MMA Systems. Um, uh, obviously, we, we love them <laughs> because their customers love them, and that's why we refer them. And that's the definition of a good referral partner is somebody that you can refer with confidence, knowing that they're going to treat your customers well. And uh, definitely, MMA Systems is, uh, uh, fits into that category. Um, and uh, so when we do uh, uh, come back after the break, we're going to be talking a little bit more about risk management. Um, how it is that you can stave off uh, uh, essentially bankruptcy uh, if anybody, if you are a victim of cybercrime, unless you think that cybercrime uh, is not something that um, you, you know, it happens to everybody else out there. Uh, cybercrime, if you were able to quantify the numbers, would probably be on the level approximately about uh, drug cartel level. Am, it, I, am I correct? It's actually exceeded, uh, it's exceeded the drug trafficking. Look at that, and uh, so you know it's very quiet and runs on the background. Um, but uh, so to become, we know there are so many victims out there of the drug cartels, um, but they are selling to a particular audience. You are the audience uh, that they are after, and so um, you can easily become a victim if you don't uh, do the proper go through the proper channel.